Menelaus and Odysseus then landed near Troy itself as ambassadors and marched inland to the city which stood several miles from the shore. The Trojans received them coldly, but Prince Antenor, cousin of King Priam, made them welcome in his house. Next day, in the assembly of all the Trojan lords and princes, Menelaus and Odysseus asked for Helen to be restored, suitable fines to be paid, and hostages given. And they said that if this were done, the Greeks would sail away in peace. The Trojans admired the broad shoulders and kingly aspect of Menelaus, and still more the wonderful voice and the persuasive words of Odysseus. Though he was below medium height and made no flourishes with his hands when he spoke, but Antimachus, who had been bribed by Paris, urged the Trojans to keep Helen and to kill both the envoys. And murdered they would have been, had not Antenor saved them and got them quickly out of the city. When they returned to the fleet with their news, the Greeks were filled with rage at the insolence of the Trojans, and decided to land at once and teach them a sharp lesson. So the fleet drew in towards the beach, and the Trojans came rushing down in thousands to oppose their landing. 